Hi everyone, Blessed Bear. I was asked to do an update on my travel altar. So this is essentially it. This is just in its display case that I have on my wall. I'm just going to open it so we can get rid of the glare of my light. So in here is a lot of what I would have as like travel items for a travel altar. Um, but like I said, this is just my, like my display case. I wouldn't carry this. What I would do is take the items from here and put them in a smaller box or an old pencil case anything like that that i can carry them around with so <clears throat> first of all i've got little charcoal discs in here for if i want to burn incense and stuff or burn petitions and things but i wouldn't take that with me um, just because having somewhere where you could light these is problematic so what I would usually do is take a little jar like this and some incense sticks and then I could just burn the incense sticks. I've got a little piece of antler here in the bottom um, that came off something. Um, I could use that as a base for a candle. I've got a quartz and um, amethyst point because amethyst is my favourite stone. Um, so I would take... The amethyst and the um, incense with me and obviously some sort of lighter or matches to light it um, I have a little bell and I like to use bells a lot in my practice so I would take that with me then in here I've got my quartz crystal which you can use for anything and I just loosely wire wrap that um, so I could use that, I could use it as a pendulum, I could um, just use it for a particular working or anything. I have these little uh, worry dolls. These are great if you have any little worries and the idea behind them is you tell them your worry and then you put them under your pillow and they're supposed to take away your worry overnight. Let me just see if I can get my autofocus to stay on. That's better. Um, then I've got jars of some different things that I would use more regularly. So I've got some rosemary in here. I've got some, uh, is this salt? I don't know if this one's salt. This one might just be glitter. Uh, that looks like a salt and glitter mix. I've got beach sand if I want to do anything working with like sort of sea energy. I've got black salt. Yes, it's got glitter in because I added glitter because I felt like it. Um, what I would do is take um, rosemary, normal salt and black salt with me um, when traveling. Beach sand I sometimes use. I like to use like sand as like a base to put candles on and stuff. Um, also, if I want to use that sort of sea energy. Then I have um, candles and I've got a bit of string in here which I can use for my quartz crystal. Um, but I like to use these giant tea light candles. Um, this one's a bit dusty. Um, so what I could do is write a little petition and put it underneath. Um, you can usually pop the candle out of its little container like so so I could put my little paper petition inside um, and use that uh, for some candle workings I've got my little handmade runes um, which I could use for divination while I'm out and about I made these because they're smaller than my actual rune set um, so it just makes life a bit easier then I've got bay leaves for bay leaf wishes you write your wish on the bay leaf and then you burn it to release your intention. And then I've got here two little protection jars. Um, this one, hold on, let me have a look. I've got lavender, salt, rosemary, uh, rose petals in here. So it's like a sort of protection and self-love type of, type of um, jar. This one has got black salt um, and rosemary for protection and then it's got 
um, rose to bring sort of joy into my life. Um, what I would do is, um, I think these was like self-love and protection, if I remember right when I did these. What I would probably do if I'm travelling is have one for health and one for like, the protection. And they're easy enough to make. You just need a bunch of black salt, really, and some uh, like rosemary, and then you can pretty much do... I find with rosemary salt and black salt, you can pretty much do anything. If you had rose, and you can do um, loads of like love workings and things with rose. This is just here for decoration in this compartment. These are some like little pepper things, um, like little pepper, peppercorn type things. Um, I can't exactly remember what they are, but they work quite well in little jars and things. So yeah. And then other than that, I'd probably have some paper on me, just a little bit of paper, um, just usually stuffed somewhere in the side that I could write any little petitions on to work with my candle. You can also use your candle to light it for, like if you just want to give thanks to um, a particular deity or something, you just light a candle. And the reason I've gone with the white one, A, they're easy to get and they're cheap, um, B, white can be used for anything. As long as you sort of set your intention first, it's perfectly fine. Um, I could use the stick of the incense to sort of carve into here if I wanted to do a specific thing. Um, so, yeah, that's probably what I would carry around with me as a travel altar. I don't tend to have um, the little travel altar cloth anymore. Um, I quite like working on just plain wood. So... Um, and if I was away somewhere and I wanted to set something up and I was able to, because obviously you can't use candles everywhere, but what I would do is I would have, I would light my, I would light my incense and cleanse the area, have my candle out, um, have out my choices of crystal. Then I could add my petition to my candle um, for any particular um, wish that I want to do or any particular intention that I want to have. Maybe it's like protect us while we're away or something like that. Um, I could do that. I could sprinkle the rosemary onto the candle. I could sprinkle some black salt. Um, I could sprinkle rosemary and black salt on the table and stand the stand the um, candle on top I would recommend if you're going away somewhere that you t that you have something you can put the candle on just so you don't damage a table anywhere or anything so I've got this little slate um, it's actually a um, coaster but it works great for stuff like this because you can have candles on it and things and it won't damage the coaster because it's made out of slate it's made out of rock um, so I'd have like something set up like this. Um, if I was doing a bay leaf wish, I'd write my intention on there and then I could burn the bay leaf in the candle. Um, if you're burning bay leaves though, I'd probably recommend doing those outside just in case. And obviously, you know, use fire safety. If I had a particular worry or I was feeling anxious, I could tell one of my little worry dolls that's not in focus and place that on this little altar um, and I could use my little bell I could put it on a piece of string if I wanted and cleanse the area with sound and there you've got basically what you would need while traveling and then if I wanted to do some divination I could draw a rune, I think of a particular question and draw a rune from my set and place that as well on the little makeshift altar. And there you go. So apart from some rosemary, some salt and some black salt, some bay leaves, this is probably pretty much what I would take with me. Um, so that's an update. Oh, and if you're wondering if 
I'll bet this is stu oh, it's stuck in now, I think. I have got an incense holder. There's a little skull, but it won't come out. It's stuck in the thing. Um, but the little jars work fine. Um, but yeah, this is basically a little mini altar setup that I would use uh, while traveling. Um, and you can use this for any sort of um, function, any sort of ritual that you might need to do. Um, a, a lot of it is just improvise as you go along. Um, so yeah, hope you found this video useful. Thank you to the person who requested this. I can't remember your name off the top of my head. Um, but thank you for requesting this update. I did forget to do an update for Travel Altar. Um, also, with these runes that I made, by the way, you'll see there's a hole in them. So if there's a particular thing that I want to bring to myself while I'm away, I can actually tie this on the cord that's in the altar and have, wear it around my neck as well. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Blessed be. And bye for now.